So just a little quick update on the micro orchard. I came down yesterday, did some uh, summer pruning. Uh, I've got a little bit to finish off with. Some nice looking fruit on there. Blenheim orange that one. Um, Tabor has been pruned and tied in the new growth for next season. As I say, you can just see where I've been doing a bit of summer pruning. That's Harry Masters jersey. Absolutely loaded that one. Looks like the, uh, the comfrey. Not quite as quick to regrow as the last two as the last twice, you know, when I cut it, but uh, should be coming up for another cut sometime soon. I've been using grass clippings to heavily mulch these uh, pinks, and to me that seems to have worked very well, you know, they look really healthy. I pruned this one quite heavily, but I still need to get up and just maybe tip those taller branches back a wee bit. Quite a lot of growth off the uh, pear trees. You can see there's still loads of new growth on. And on some of the uh, grafts, I actually did cut them back or cut one or two of the branches away that just didn't seem to be in a suitable place, but um, they've done phenomenally well. I will be cutting those quite hard, probably half. I'll probably prune them half back because um, I think. You know, come the winter time, the gales that we normally get, it's just going to rip those off. So I will prune them hard back. I'm very pleased with how those done. On the soft fruit bed, um, you can see the autumn fruit in raspberries. I don't know if you can see over there. Just kind of coming now. Um, this sort of weather's ideal, really. But you know, whether or not it'll stay fine enough to pick the fruit is another question. Um, the thornless blackberry's done amazingly well. There's actually three in here, but the central one is the best by far. So this plum tree was already on the site, so I kind of inherited it, if you will. It's It must be pretty old. I don't know how old it is, but I'm guessing 40 plus years. Uh, this year was very poor. There's just a few, you know, fruits on it really. Nothing much but you know that's the way it goes sometimes. So I did better with this one that you won't be able to see it but uh, it's actually grafted into a wild plum stock on the there's an embankment down behind here and then a steep drop into a lane on the back of those houses. Uh, anyway I grafted it on three four years ago I think it was and then um, it's actually got quite a lot of fruit on it. It's not done too bad. Um, it, the main problem is getting to well, I can get I can get to those. So I'll have to try and figure out a way of pruning it so that the branches sort of come over this way and um, try and keep them up rather than you know because once they touch the uh, tin and everything they, they go bad. But it's nice that it's. Uh, Giving me something back for my efforts. What we're looking at now is a damson tree. Um, there's not many on at all, really. Just an odd one or two. See some there. There may be enough for a batch of damson gin or damson vodka if I'm lucky. <laughs> and here's a bud graft that I did yesterday. As I say, I did about eight or nine for my neighbour. And um, this is apple. So I did that one, and this is one that I did the same time last year. I've shown this before, but that is really... I think there must be nearly three foot of growth there now. That's going to make a nice tree. And just finally, uh, as I say, when I'm not gardening, I got myself a new log splitting axe. And uh, split most of the uh, logs. I need uh, one of those, what do you call it, like a wedge thing it's full of knots so I'll need a wedge to try and split that. So that's just a little update on the micro for you. Right we're going to go across the plot and just have a quick catch up on there. 
All right, guys, we're over on the plot. I'll be pretty quick because there's not that much to show now. If, as you know, I'm, I'm finishing here in a few weeks' time. But the, uh, this blackberry is doing pretty well. It's got quite a lot of fruit on. Uh, the apples, say, undersize, but plenty of them. I mean, it's absolutely laden. Variety uh, browns and also uh, tremlets bitter. It's got two varieties on it. Um, but like I say, you know, we've been hammered by codling moth. Just examples all over. But because they're going for uh, cider, you know, it doesn't. It's not as much of a problem. I think due to the hot weather, the onions are drying out really well. You know, that's quite amazing. It wasn't so long that I lifted them, really, but uh, that's helped to dry them out. This is my achoo, ach, I can't say, Uchiki Curie squash. I think, I mean, I don't know what other people expect, but I mean, I'm happy with that. They're, they're beautiful. There's quite a few didn't get pollinated, but that's the way it goes, you know, and sometimes you're not around to uh, hand pollinate them. But uh, I'm tempted to, I have already pinched it out, but I might come back and pinch it out here and just focus on getting those, you know, the ones that are there, just getting them ripened, really, than trying to grow more because time's getting on, obviously. Uh, this is a discovery apple under this net. I had to put the net on to stop the birds pecking them. But um, I've, I've actually harvested about £10 so far. You just have to sort of keep doing it over time. But superb apple. The only problem with these is they don't have a long storage time. Three, four weeks, that's about it. Let's see it while I'm here. This is the other thing you have to need to look after brown rot get rid of them moving on to the next bed uh, multi zone beets I've actually just picked a bunch to take back with me we're eating a load of beetroot at the moment wonderful stuff and uh, yeah put some uh, extra sticks in these are actually raspberry autumn raspberry canes that was a tip from Terry King actually thanks Terry good tip mate just gives that bit of extra height because they would have clearly they've gone beyond the wire that I put in and I remembered now the variety is Sugar Bon I've not grown them before so I can't tell you what they're like but I'm certainly looking forward to trying them and I was down here yesterday just watering really and then I pulled a load of uh, there's another one gone to seed so there was about oh, 15, 14 or 15 there Another half dozen over here from over there. What can you do? Hot weather, I think. With the Savoy cabbage, all I've done really is just tidied up by, you know, kind of removing the uh, lower leaves, which really have no value and they just encourage slugs, so I just kind of pulled those off and chucked them on the compost. That's a beautiful head there, so I'll probably cut that in the next day or two. But uh, that's January King 3. They've actually stood up really well to this hot weather. The Crown Prince squash. Uh, I mean, God, that's just amazing, isn't it? Um, I think there's three. There's, yeah, there's that one there. That's number two. Number three. I did have one there, but again, it can't have been fertilised properly, pollinated, and it sort of, you know, went brown. So there's, I'm going to get three nice ones anyway. So I definitely can't grumble with that really. And just in the frame here is the last sowing of uh, beets. So again, I've been watering those at least three, four times a week. And uh, they're definitely liking it. They're responding to that uh, attention. So just to finish this video, guys, I want to um, just follow up on a couple of uh, bug graphs I did for a neighbor. So I'm going to spin you around. So it's on a, some, um, wild, not wild, but uh, what do you call them? Um, that dead tree there, it's thrown up a lot of suckers and I grafted into those. So I'm gonna go over now and show you. Yeah, so that was, uh, that was fruit in it a couple of years ago and then it just died off. 
over a winter. Um, but all these, all these here are suckers, plum suckers. So I'm assuming they've either come or from the fruits that have dropped and just sprouted. But anyway, uh, I uh, grafted in to one here, right? So that was the bud graft there. And you can see that it's going away quite nicely. This is the actual sucker, so I need to come back with my seconds and prune those off. I don't want them competing with the, this is Victoria Plum, I've budded, bud grafted onto it. And then d down below, uh, this growth here, if I can find it, there's the there's another little sucker here behind this tree and uh, sorry about the jerky camera but there's the bud graft there and so if we follow it up I tied it in I didn't want the, wi the wind to uh, risk snapping it but I think that's probably that's almost six feet now of growth so again probably what I'll do is come back and just head it back a wee bit I think that's going to do really well. Oh, the heat's building. I'm not staying, I'm going to go home getting the shade. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.